Barrel has been a wild start to what will likely be an active Atlantic hurricane season, and many have asked why we're talking so much about this storm. So let's discuss. Barrel began as a tropical depression on June 28th, that was 10 days ago now, and within 24 hours became a Category 1 hurricane. This was the furthest east a hurricane has formed in June, plus it was the earliest Category 4 and 5 hurricane ever recorded. It was also the earliest storm to intensify from a tropical depression to a Category 4 hurricane hurricane in 48 hours and only the fourth to ever do so. While hurricane season begins on June 1st, the peak doesn't come until late August and early September, so we really are not used to seeing such large impactful storms so early in the season, especially here in the U.S. That's one of the reasons why Barrel is getting a lot of attention because this storm is tracking through the heart of the country as areas just to our southeast are anticipating more flooding. These storms are expected to cause major issues on the Mississippi downstream of southern Wisconsin. The current track of barrel should not impact the Mississippi in southern Wisconsin. So that's good news there for us as our track stays to the southeast. You can see there with small rain chances over southeast Wisconsin through late Tuesday and early Wednesday from barrel. And there's a look at those chances there. If a few showers make their way into southeast Wisconsin, the Rock, the Rock River could see some issues through Tuesday night and Wednesday. The good news is I don't foresee huge flooding issues since we are so far away from that track. It would likely just be some very light rain showers that we would see. So you'll notice that the Rock River's flood warning on your screen there is longer than the Mississippi's in southern Wisconsin, just out of caution. So to summarize, Barrel won't have too much of an impact on southern Wisconsin, but we will really need to monitor the Atlantic through the next few months because if Barrel can become a Category 5 before the peak of what is expected to be an active hurricane season, that area is going to be very busy this year. For 27 Storm Track Weather, I'm meteorologist Alexis Clemens.